American Ingufu, uh, founder and uh, CEO of 3E Power. And what does 3E Power do? 3E Power is a local energy company. Um, we're still looking at uh, the Rwanda market at the moment, looking at expanding into the region, uh, East Africa being one of them, and the whole of Africa. And what's the situation in terms of the energy gap in Africa? How big is it? And what, what investment is needed? It, it's huge, it's huge. Um, a study by the UN actually shows that 75% of the population have no access to electricity, which is which is huge. And in terms of investment, it, it's highly um, considered as $40 billion a year annually for the next 25 years. So that's a huge sum of money, isn't it? A huge sum of money, a lot of potentials. If you're yeah. looking at it, that which Africa is laying at the bottom of the energy demand at the moment. However, on top of energy potentials. So this is the gap. There's low demand and a lot of potentials. And two, there have been two particular significant developments. One in Nigeria, one in Ethiopia. Tell me what has happened in Nigeria. What is happening in Nigeria, it's um, the government coming on board with private uh, industry players in the sense of the need to develop, to reform the whole energy sector. And by doing so, what they did, they recently approved uh, a 2.5 billion asset that was handed over to private entity. Huge success. Uh, the whole point being uh, the government has invested more than 20 billion for the last 10 years and it has not been successful. Yet, what it still, is, no, still not enough energy coming out. Not enough energy and actually most of them being run poorly. Yes. And what they decided is, okay, let's work hand in hand with the industry players, non-industry players, and the names of huge, are you talking about Siemens, among of them, General Electric. What they decided is, okay, this is a potential, this is a 160 million people country, let's do something different. And the other big development is in Ethiopia. What is happening there? Definitely. Uh, Ethiopia has probably the, the right strategy at the moment. Uh, we're talking about 7% uh, growth per annum. This is what again is happening for the last two years. And they have a huge potential. They're building a 6 gigawatt dam, the largest going to be in Africa after DRC um, to be. And uh, probably they are going to fill the gap in the next 20, 25 years as well. Objective being reaching a thousand kilowatt hour per capita. Right. And the, you yourself are working on particular energy projects. What, what for you is the sweet spot in terms of um, the kinds of projects you're doing? Renewable energy is definitely what we're looking at doing. Um, solar being one of them. Uh, hydro is part of it, but solar is definitely the project we're looking at at the moment. There is one project we're looking at 10 megawatt solar PV plants. Uh, it's a different stage, it's actually the last phase of finalization yeah. in terms of uh, procure so procurement and construction. Uh, as long as the tender is won, we're trying to position ourselves as the best offer, the best yeah. bidders. And shall this be the case? Shall we move ahead in that situation? We'll be able to run successfully the first 10 megawatt project in East Africa. And how, what's the ownership of this project? It's uh, privately held. Yeah. Uh, 70% uh, through um, loans and 30% equity, a uh, consortium of companies based in South Africa, some of them in Europe. And uh, at the moment, this project is structured as privately held. The largest projects are usually structured as PPP. Uh, so the, the government has some ownership in it? For the largest, we had, uh, what the investors are looking at long term guarantees, and one of them actually being the, seeing the involvement of the government at some level. Yes. Um, through um, loans for grants or uh, financing institutions which actually usually provide loans to only government. Who do you think is best place to ru run and meet the energy needs of Africa? I would say everywhere in Africa. Everywhere in Africa what we've seen, the trend we've seen happening and successfully is a change in the mentality in the leadership. They get to know, they actually know now that um, it's a deficit, the energy deficit yeah. costs at least two billion dollars a year. Yes, but should it be government or should it be the private sector? It should be both. Yeah. It should definitely be both. Uh, do what we're trying to uh, emulate. Can, uh, countries like South Africa and Nigeria have been emulating that, moving from privately uh, government-owned companies into privately-owned company. Turkey has been very successful with 60 percent of production capacity being privately owned. Yes. So it's, it, government has a responsibility, but the private sector delivers. Definitely.